people mm. are asking was mm. the first, second, and third respondent quite flat-footed um, with regard to asking or mm. peti petitioning for a recount. Mm. Good. So, so, so that's a good question in terms of why didn't they put in a cross petition? Mm -hmm. What would they be petitioning about? You see, they have no issue with the, the numbers themselves. The, the lawyers for IEBC and the lawyers for the president had no problem with the numbers. They are confident in their numbers. In fact, they were so confident, for as far as the IEBC is concerned, that they are willing to ask the court, we will even have no objection to you scrutinizing uh, uh, any of the... Usually, scrutiny is very seriously objected. Mm -hmm. So it was really the court, since it had decided that it was going to base its decision on X, to then go and say, if they were not comfortable with what they were seeing from the IEBC, to seek f truth for themselves and go ahead and, and find out. So it was really not on the, the, the... Because they would not be questioning their numbers themselves. They were confident in their numbers. They believed in their numbers. It is the court that decided that we were going to overturn the elections. And the elections law 101 is, if you have a problem with the elections in terms of irregularities, you must go to a question two, which is, were the irregularities substantive enough to overturn the judgment? The difference between the president and the former prime minister was over 1.4 million votes. In an election that was 15 million voters. Usually elections are very close. And when they are close and they are impurities, it is easy to overturn the election. Because you would say, since there are only hundreds of votes uh, between these two individuals. And since the, the, the queries are about polling station X or constituency Y or APCD that has substantial votes, mm -hmm. therefore, we will go ahead. In fact, in certain places, the elections are called before all the results are in because the number of polling stations outstanding are so minute in the totality of the scheme of things mm -hmm. that you don't go forward. But I, I would like to point out one or two other things, uh, uh, Betty, too. Number one, our former prime minister must decide what role he is playing in the elections. Is he a prosecutor? Is he a procurement officer? Is he one of the contestants? You can't play all these roles at the same time. Mm -hmm. You see, the, Constitution, the, the Supreme Court said, you must hold these elections in strict compliance with the Constitution and the laws. Our laws, as far as criminal responsibility or criminal investigation is very clear. Mm -hmm. It is not for a candidate to say, lock up Harvey, and he should be locked up. And if he's not locked up, I am not going to go for an election. Number one, it is not you to call the election. Number two, if you have a problem with Harvey, go and report it to a police station. Let the DPP do the investigations and the police. Number three, you can't say, because I am a candidate, you must procure from Betty. If you don't procure right. from Betty, I am not going to take place. We have independent institutions dealing with procurement. We have independent institutions dealing with investigations mm -hmm. and prosecution. We have an independent institution managing election. It's called the Election Management Body. It's called IEBC. And the I stands for independent. <laughs> it is independent <laughs> okay. of Raila Odinga. In it is independent <laughs> of Uhuru Kenyatta. It must be independent. And we must, as a country, really, this is not a laughing matter. Mm -hmm. We have 25 days to an election. Mm -hmm. We need to conduct that election. We should not make it so, look, even your kids whom you love, if every morning you are telling them how terrible they are, surely when they go and mess, you're not going to come back and say, oh, you know, I knew. It's called a self-fulfilling prophecy. All right. We cannot be hitting at this institution from every political angle and occupying them with things that are not central. Elections need to be conducted and we need to move on as a country. All right, L Let me delve into this issue. Now, the litany that we have been subjected to from this divide of our friend is this. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Mm -hmm. We believed we had the numbers. There was no reason to propel us to ask the Supreme Court to recount the numbers. Let me be a little bit spiritual. I believe that is not founded upon knowledge cannot sustain any faith. And for you to arrive at a proper number, you must have the formula. And we say this thing when we were with you here, Betty. Mm -hmm. And as day succeeded night, you saw the court, which is composed of judges who studied mathematics, applying the numbers. The formula of area is L times W. 
you multiply the length with the width. Right. But these chaps claim they have the numbers, but they don't want to explain how they have the numbers. Now, there was no restriction on their part in asking the court to ascertain the numbers. And in ascertaining the numbers, the only issue that they will have been pursuing will be simple. Our adversary claims that, claims that there were these irregularities. But that notwithstanding, tally the, the numbers, conduct a scrutiny, conduct a recount, and establish. But what did they do? We saw when Honorable Paul Mwite stood up and said, my lord, we don't have an objection to this scrutiny, mm. the first person who stood and said, no, that cannot be so, was the president's lawyer, Fred Ngati, and said, we can't have a scrutiny. We can't have a recount. We can't even have access to the Kim server. Mm. So that this is, a, this is a request that comes so late. They're asking to conduct an autopsy after the body has been buried. It doesn't happen like that. You will need an exhumation holder. Now, when all is said and done, they keep on telling us that, look, the, the, the future of our children uh, is dependent on the stability for now. We need to move on. No, we can't move on, Mashimiwa uh, Abdikadir. We need to establish where the rain started beating us before we go. Otherwise, we'll be moving on in the rain without an umbrella and without uh, proper direction as where we'll seek refuge. Actually, we must ascertain uh, 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 for a fact uh, uh, that individuals like Al Guraya, Safran Mofo, who hold the highest responsibility in manipulating this exercise, are brought to account. Uh, uh, They're not permitted to repeat this exercise so that the future of our children is endangered because we decided to keep quiet in our belief of numbers without right. proper actually, calculation uh, and actually, moved on. Actually, it can't happen like uh, that. Actually, right, Betty, a to that uh, actually move on. Betty, our future is not bright because of the attitude of people like my friend. Mm -hmm. Look, in any contest, you must have a winner and a loser. If you decide I will never accept loss, how is our contest going to be done? Look, in two, 2008, I was there when we disbanded the ECK. I was there. And we had Orengo, we had Wako, who was then uh, Senator Wako, who was then the AG. I remember sitting in a room where we were writing the law saying, these people should never hold an elect a post in the Electoral Commission or anything to do with the election in this country. We fired people. We have reformed. Uh, just a few months ago, we were here where the Honorable uh, Raila Odinga was demonstrating in front of IABC. We sent home the Isaac Hassan team. Right. Here we are again at the same point. Which other country goes through that? Tell me. Which other country? In most developed democracies, elections are undertaken by mid-level civil servants. Imagine today if our elections were being undertaken by somebody in the Ministry of Interior. Because that's what happens in the UK. And they are being done by local authorities. Look, we are going on the wrong path. We have to stop and re retract our steps. Mm -hmm. If you are going to look for fault in everything, you will find it. It is called a self-fulfilling prophecy. All right. We have to stop and go to the right path as a country. All right. Fine. Gentlemen, we'll have to just pause our conversation there. And when we come back, we'll be talking about um, uh, that uh, you know, statement by Maraga that you know, IBC suffered systematic institutional problems and not really pointing fingers into whether it was Chiloba or uh, Chebukati's fault that we're where we are. Uh, we'll be having that conversation uh, in a few minutes. But